What's up? Welcome to a new video. We have a good one for you today. Uh, we're gonna go to the gym. We've got John Minas there, and we're gonna hit a chest workout. Specifically, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about what to do if you're not growing. And um, yeah, this is a huge issue, guys. I mean, like, you're going to the gym, you're working out really hard, but like, what if you're not seeing the results you wanna see? There's gotta be something wrong with your programming or something. We're gonna talk about those things today. But uh, here we go, <laughs> pre-workout stack. I'm gonna show you my two favorite flavor combinations. And when it comes to pre-workout, um, BPN's got you covered. So real quick, <laughs> Daisy's hitting her buttons over there. Real quick, the, the uh, foundation of this pre-workout is gonna be Endo Pump, which is a pump product. I use a lot. I was gonna show you how big of a scoop I use, but then I got too excited and I mixed it in anyway. But imagine like, a scoop that is fully packed and then has like another scoop on top of the scoop. That's kind of like the dosage I go with on the, on the endo pump. But then the flight, which is the actual kind of like stimulant part of the pre-workout, um, I, I only do like half a scoop to maybe like two thirds of a scoop because I don't really want that much caffeine. A lot of endo pump though. So this flavor combination is blackberry lemonade with pink lemonade, awesome. And then the one I'm doing today is the sour watermelon with the green apple, which kind of sounds kind of weird, but it's really good, that's all I can say. So we're rocking this today. Again, guys, I did just get a discount code that you can utilize to save 15% off your first order of BPN. Obviously the link is gonna be in the description. Oak 15, 15% off. You're not gonna regret it. Well, let's get to the gym. Let's do it. Okay, so every day during my workout, I consume a scoop of G1M Sport. This is 20 grams of really fast digesting carbs and also electrolytes. So I have to do it because we're bulking and my coach has me on a plan where I'm taking intro workout carbs. And then the electrolytes are honestly just a really nice touch to help with if, in case you're um, sweating a lot or getting cramps or anything like that, you'll stay hydrated. This is the salted watermelon flavor, which is pretty good. And honestly, this is really helpful for me. I'm like someone that I really struggle with hypoglycemia like my whole life. I'm actually hypoglycemic right now, so I'm starting to get really shaky. <laughs> um, and so this will hopefully help with that too, if you're someone like that. But yeah, I'm starting to get really sweaty and shaky, so I, I need like an emergency Snickers or something. But we'll see if this helps. <laughs> number one I want to give you guys when it comes to if you're struggling growing so again this is not if you've been training for two or three weeks and you think you're not growing this is if you've been pounding the gym hard consistently for maybe months and you feel like a muscle group is just truly not getting the results that you you're expecting keep in mind muscle it's hard to grow, it takes a long time, you gotta be patient, but there's definitely a time when you've hit a plateau and you need to do something about it. So tip number one I have for you is going to be change up your rep schemes. Now I'm not talking about your intensity here, so regardless if you're doing eight reps in a set versus 20 reps in a set, your intensity should always be <laughs> very high, like training to near failure every single set, essentially. But what I am saying is if you have been pounding like eight to 10 reps for weeks or months, it's probably a good time to switch it up. Maybe do 15 to 20 reps of the same exercise. Again, same intensity. So for example, we just did dumbbell bench, right? Um, typically I'll go for around eight to 10 reps. In this case, we're going for 15. On the cable chest uh, fly, which we're about to do, I have been doing 25 reps for about two months now. Now we're dropping it to 15 reps. Once again, 
intensity is the same, we're still gonna go to failure, but we're just changing up the rep scheme, and uh, you, should do the, you, you should do that too. So that's tip number one. Tip two is going to be film your sets and look for any way that you can critique your technique. Now there is a specific technique for hypertrophy that is going to elicit the most amount of muscular fibers essentially. And so, um, I don't know, there's a lot of examples. We were just talking about this five seconds ago. But if you're doing a fly, for instance, and let's say you notice your trunk kind of like moving a little bit, there's a chance that you're not really like getting the full stretch or stress on the muscle and you want that tension fully on the muscle so if you filmed yourself and you saw a moment where you're not putting as much stress on that muscle you can make that adjustment and then your technique's going to be better and over time that's going to definitely help you break that plateau this is also a really good time to have a coach and just send those video clips to your coach um, i know my athletes and devin's athletes all of our athletes send us a lot of form videos so that we can critique their technique. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. It, it really might just be like an error on your end of how you're doing the lift. So that's tip number two. Yeah, I got a couple. Yeah. I don't try to ball. Nah. Now I never fumble. Oof. I'm the MVP. Yeah. Now I feel like Russell. Yeah. Feel like John Moran. Hey. Need a triple double. Yeah. Told him check the stats. Hey. Yeah, I got a couple. Yeah. I don't try to ball. to give a quick shout out because we did the 90 day challenge we called it the knockout 90 it was a 12 week transformation challenge and it just came to an end this past week and we have our winner so out of everyone we decided to pick one winner that was going to win $500 and we chose our winner it was a really hard decision like Devin and I went back and forth on the phone for a very long time because I mean we had guys lose 30 pounds we had some guys get super shredded that lost maybe like 10 pounds we wanted to pick someone that lost a lot of weight and like came with a long way but also got really lean at the end of it so we, we think we found the perfect person and again it was hard man it was really hard but um, the winner is McKinley so there's him there we'll put his picture on the screen too but McKinley lost 16 pounds uh, got really lean he's got abs now which is awesome and I remember a conversation I had with him he just said that he wanted to get into the best shape of his life before he turned 30 years old which I think he turns 30 in like two weeks so he did it. He, he, got, he got really lean. He's got abs now. And um, yeah, I mean, the, the challenge was a huge success. So be on the lookout because I think we might have to do it again. Um, looking at the transformation pictures we got, I mean, it was incredible. I, I'll show you one more. Um, one of our guys that lost, uh, uh, again, 16 pounds, but the transformation is like way more than 16 pounds of fat. Uh, clearly he built a lot of muscle too. So all of that was done in 90 days, it's so crazy. But yeah, congrats to everyone who did Knockout 90 and finished it, and congrats to McKinley for winning. Okay, tip three, guys. If you're having a hard time breaking through your plateaus and not building muscle, it's gonna be to change your exercise selection. And so again, I wanna be really clear, you shouldn't change your exercise selection all the time. And that's why this is the third tip and not the second tip. Second tip was to adjust your technique because typically exercises are, are mostly good, right? And it's usually a technique error, but there are times when an exercise just really isn't working for you and it's definitely time to switch it up. So for instance, I could give a few examples. For me, I was bench pressing for years. I loved the bench press, but guess what? My chest wasn't growing, so I don't bench press anymore. I do other exercises that I feel my chest working better. Uh, another good example, we just did the hex press. That is an exercise that I literally have not done <laughs> at all except for the last couple of months um, for years I mean I really have not done that exercise and after a few weeks my technique got a little bit better now I absolutely feel it it is a killer exercise um, now that my technique's a little bit you know improved and yeah it's it's all about like if something's not working it's time to switch it up so select exercises that you feel the tension there really well and then your focus should be get really good at that exercise. After two, three, four, five months of that, if it's starting to die off a little bit, boom, let's switch it up again, throw in a new exercise and get really good at that exercise. So that is tip three. 
All right, thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. If this video helped you, if you enjoy these tips, you know what to do, hit the thumbs up, and drop a comment down below which tip you thought was the most helpful, and hey, maybe throw in some ideas for our next video that we could do. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.